Hi everyone, this is a video to walk you through some of the features of the Lenovo 500e Chromebook. This Chromebook is a two-in-one Chromebook, which means it has two different features. It works like a regular laptop, but it also has a touch screen and it rotates as a tablet, which you'll see in just a moment. Let's look at the left side of your Chromebook now. So the left side is where you're going to plug in your power cord to charge your Chromebook. If you look really closely at mine, you'll see a little red light. This indicates that my Chromebook is not fully charged right now. Please make sure to use this side when you're charging your Chromebook. Right next to that, you'll see a USB slot. And then to the far right is where you will plug in your headphones. Now you're gonna wanna be careful when you're unplugging your power cord to never pull from the long cord part. Always put your fingers close to the Chromebook and then pull your power cord out. Carefully removing your power cord from your Chromebook really helps prevent damaging not only the power cord but also your Chromebook. So on this Chromebook, the power button is this little blue light on the right side of the Chromebook. To the left of that, you'll see the volume. And to the right, you'll see a spot for a USB cable. This is a touchscreen Chromebook. And what's great is that it comes with its own stylus. It's stored on the right side of your Chromebook and to remove it, you just pull it out just like that. Make sure when you're putting the stylus back in that you put it with this little knob face down. Otherwise, it won't go back in properly. This way it does. To get to your apps on your Chromebook, you can use it with your keyboard, just like you would any other laptop or Chromebook, and you can click in the launcher and find all your apps here, just like that. You can also get to your apps by swiping up from the bottom of the screen to the top and find all your apps here. Time to turn this Chromebook into a tablet. Your Chromebook can be turned 360 degrees, just like that. Flat like a tablet. You can also stand up your tablet, tent style, so you can have your own stand, and it's easy to use. You can also stand it up this way, kind of looks like an alligator. Either way is fine, whatever you prefer. I'll now show you the touch screen and stylus options for your new Chromebook. So I'm gonna use an app called Google Keep to show you this, and you can use other options as well. Once I have the app open, I could click here and type like I normally would using a regular Chromebook or a laptop. And then you can also click on the stylus, which opens up the touch screen. And just right on the screen. And you can also now use your stylus, just like that. This Chromebook has two different cameras, a front-facing and a world-facing. Click on the camera app icon, and you'll see the front-facing camera. Hi. And then if you want the world facing, just click on the little icon to the left of the red camera button and you'll see the world facing. Hi, Mr. Levenstein.